Hello everyone, welcome to Beach Investing. I'm your host Andre Angelkowski and today we are in the Upper Beach again uh, but this time with uh, Marcin Rublewski from Express Router and uh, if you haven't uh, recognized him already but he works with Mike Holmes uh, <laughs> he, uh, you'll find him on HGTV on Holmes Inspection so he is a professional plumber and today we are in a, uh, in a house where we want to kind of show you why it's important to use uh, Marcin or Express Router or his equipment that we have that we brought you here. In the Upper Beach you're going to come across houses that are about 80, 90, even 100 years old. So there's the issues with those houses that they have really really old uh, clay piping underneath the sewer uh, drains. So this is actually a very important inspection to perform when you're looking to buy a house. So Marcin, uh, why don't you explain to us, uh, you know, the general importance of doing this inspection and what you're doing here? Not a problem. Um, the main idea here is uh, obviously the basement is going through extensive renovation. Uh, thousands of dollars are being invested. Um, considering that the line inside, we're talking about sanitary drain. Considering the drain is being upgraded inside, I'm not being too concerned about it because it's all brand new. Um, however, not there's nothing happening outside. None of the upgrades are being taking place outside. So. Uh, by bringing a video camera inspection, I can actually look outside and determine if there are any issues that need to be addressed. Uh, whether do, this would be uh, an excavation required or, or maintenance of some sort, um, this equipment actually can provide a piece of evidence and, and tremendous amount of knowledge to the homeowner as well as uh, the trades that are actually involved in, in working here. So um, I've got the camera set up. I'm going to run it and then we'll be able to see exactly what's going on. Okay. Uh, We do have, obviously this is, uh, those are some of the new components that have been installed, uh, but going forward, we are changing obviously from PVC, which is the plastic line, and then we're stepping into the original clay material. Um, immediately, literally five feet downstream from this location, what I notice is uh, a tremendous tree root blockage, which if it's not taken care of immediately, I would say will end up causing a homeowner uh, with, with problems down the road. Um, so those are, those are typical issues that we do come across um, in houses of this age. Uh, clay material, clay pipes, they tend to shift, crack, misalign, uh, and as obviously water starts escaping into the ground, the root activity gets more intense because roots are obviously chasing the, the water and the moisture. Um, and as the sewage escapes into the soil, the tree roots grow a lot faster, a lot stronger, and then this is the outcome that, uh, that the homeowner will be faced. Um, at this stage, my recommendation would be to uh, either provide regular maintenance um, or if, uh, if the homeowner is, is, is able to uh, uh, perform additional work outside is to upgrade that sanitary line, replace it with the PVC material, that way you don't have to address those issues anymore. So what's, what's the worst thing that can happen when you see something like this? Uh, you, you see obviously a big tree root here. Yeah. So what can happen here? What's going to end up happening is, as you, as you see, this, this tree root has been actually growing here for quite some time. Um, and your drain system is 4 inch diameter. Uh, this opening right now is, is not, even, it's not even 1 inch. Uh, so 90% of that, of that line is, has actually been uh, infiltrated by tree roots. What's going to end up happening is this, 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 this tree root will continue to grow and as the waste is exiting the house it will just create a blockage. Um, the yeah. water will start backing up into the house and then it will flood the basement. Uh, obviously it doesn't give you any warnings, it doesn't give you any, any signs of or any indication that the problem is developing. Uh, so a homeowner will wake up one day and they're going to end up with a sewage in the basement. Okay, so, so so to prevent this from happening or to be aware of it as a buyer, you're you're a professional plumber. So when you when you walk into a house, you're also an investor. Yes. So when you personally walk into a house that you want to buy as an investor, or even for yourself, what are some of the things that you actually look for? I personally, uh, I recommend using a video camera inspection. Uh, it tell it it's able to tell me what's happening underground, whether it's the storm system or the sanitary system. Uh, those are items that that I cannot see. With, with a naked eye, I need the equipment to tell me the story. Uh, and those are usually, um, if it does come down to issues or problems that need to be addressed, they can become very costly. So uh, when I do look at the property as an investment or, or as, a, uh, uh, as a plumber working for a client, 
Um, I strongly recommend to utilize the video camera technology, inspect what's happening underground, and provide recommendations, whether it's maintenance or, or permanent uh, uh, solution, such as a drain replacement. Okay, well, that, I guess that, that can be also a great negotiating tool when, you of know, course. if you're doing an inspection before you buy the property, uh, you find an issue like this and you can basically take it back to the seller and kind of use it as a negotiating tool. But again, when you have inspectors come here, home inspectors come here, they don't normally have these tools. No, they don't. Um, this is, this is uh, typically used by plumbing companies and plumbing companies that specialize in, in drains actually. Uh, Typical uh, home inspector would not be would not be carrying equipment such as this one because just simply it's not utilized on a daily basis for them. Um, what I would recommend is for any home buyer, um, obviously hire the home inspector, but then take it a step farther, hire a plumber, um, licensed plumber, obviously that would have the video camera technology, so that they can inspect what's happening below grade, uh, below concrete floor and outside, uh, and and that's that will tell the story of, of what's happening with the plumbing and drain system. And how much does this inspection cost? Like if we wanted to call you, for example, we call Express Router. You call the Express Router office uh, at 416-233-2660. Yep. Uh, the video camera inspection is $250 yep. uh, and that provides you with a full investigation of, of what's going on underground. Uh, we do provide recommendations as well. So everything is in writing uh, that can be then utilized by a homeowner as a negotiating tool or as a reference for, for any future purposes. And how much notice do we need to give you? Because let's just say we want to buy a house and we only have like one or two days of conditions. So we do have service guys. I'm, I'm the owner of the company. However, I do have service guys that are providing uh, this type of service throughout GTA. Um, literally, we need one or two hour notice and we can oh. accommodate a customer and, and be able to provide the equipment and, and, and the service. That's awesome. Okay. And uh, I guess when we look at it, $250 cost, but it could literally save you tens of thousands. Tens like, of I mean, thousands. sometimes we go into the house where a small repair uh, starts at, at about $2,000 by the time you excavate the concrete, remove the dirt, bring the gravel, and, and replace the drain, re cement. Uh, but the jobs can escalate up to $10,000 or even higher, right? Depending on the footage and the extent of the work that needs to be done. So, definitely, the $250 is, is an investigative. Uh, um, so it's, it's used for investigative purposes, uh, but it can save you thousands of dollars down the road. Um, it will also provide you with full scope of, uh, um, of, of what's happening underground. Okay. You'll get the full knowledge. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. No problem. And uh, I hope you guys learned something today. See you next time. Take care.